Hello guys, welcome to my new video. Today we're gonna study about signs and rotation, position, with something else. For now, let's just change the screen. As you can remember in your last lesson, we made a, but a label and button, and when we click on this button, we change the take off label. This is that very basic and easy, so we need to make it harder. So let's just hit a new button and move it to center and resize this. Okay, make it change the screen. Okay, and let's hit a new or next screen by clicking here. Okay, just click the plus sign and this will create a new sign for the screen. Take your Let's take your road node and print the page and name it play screen, for example. And let's just cut a label. Center of screen and write the screen change. Okay. And make it bigger or stop. How we can do that? Just click Ctrl Shift and S so it will save uh, the sign as a file. Just click Save. Okay. Now we need to change the main screen to the play screen. But how can we do that? As you can remember, we had an event in this top, not in top. When you click on the button, you will see the event in there. So, just click on press, right click, connect, connect to the main, as you can see, and it will create a new function. It's our uh, last function, so I'm seeing that. <clears throat> so, how we can change that screen? Okay, we connect it. Uh, when the button click, the function will work. This is all pretty easy. Just write get three. This will return the three of your game and at that change sign to file. As you can see, this shows our sign. We just navigate to play screen and enter. Okay, let's just run our game and see what happens. Yeah, change the screen when I click on this we change and this is our play screen okay now now what we gonna do in play screen then we can study about rotation and position of images so I'm just setting this label for now and I am dragging the official product icon here this icon we will use this as our test subject so but before starting also let me tell you about the, something uh, when i drag and drop here it creates a new node here as you can see it creates a try today so the, also you could do that right here right today and select take your here as you can see for example just move that here and as you can see we keep our uh, file by adding new node here so of course we don't need it because we can also drag and drop here yes. okay now we have a origin so what we will do with this first if we need uh, change the position or rotation from code let's just uh, attach a specific uh, place between the uh, node as you can see just click here and it will ask you the name of path when, when you click this it will open a new script in the panel also you can name it if you don't prefer the default name so let's just click and it clicks or so, what would we do here is 
extinct in the icon properties uh, more like position rotation for example by pressing E you can change the rotation by like this but we want to do the input so let's just get started and let's go to the process this process will work 60 times per second so then let's just exit or icon like this you have two ways to access a node first get node and write the name of the node like this or just put the dollar sign and write icon and don't forget it you can only access your children with this code if you want to get the parent children just write get parent and get node like this So, we got our icon, even we can do this, just uh, we need to get prices in Rigidi and let's just work icon and make this and icon pool get not icon. Okay. Now icon rotation directory equals icon rotation directory and plus that and you buy mm, yeah might be enough let's turn our game into the screen as you can see the icon is turning around and now we want to change the position of this icon. So how we can do that? Position is vector 2, which means it has X and A value, in, like in LiveDD. So, let's just write this icon, uh, the position, equals vector 2, and write icon position. Plus delta and make b by 5 and as like x just make the same thing for a okay let's run our game okay we change the screen and as you can see this moving but so we can speed it by changing the five value. So let's just do that. Okay. Oh, and okay, that might be enough. In green. This is first, and then okay. So what can we do more? Mm -hmm. Let's see the color of this, but I'm not sure we we can change him more. Great. Right. For now, I show the change the screen and modifying the variables of an integer by script. So I know this is. Um, this is a not long lesson, but for now, I think we're enough for this. Make your test and uh, improve your knowledge by change, changing these things or something, or creating a new icon, something. Anyway, guys, let's, let's see you in other lessons. Have a nice day. Goodbye.